my name is Mark Gerdish. I'm the Chief of Cardiovascular and Thoracic Surgery at St. Francis Heart Center in Indianapolis. Well, I really perform the full spectrum of valve operations, but I do specialize in valve repair, restoration of normal function of valves, especially in the mitral valve reconstruction of the valve. I've done over 3,000 heart surgeries in my career. I've been practicing for a little over 19 years, and probably about 15 or 1,600 of those are valve operations. Hi everybody, it's Adam with HeartValveSurgery.com. Thrilled to be here with Dr. Mark Gerdish. Dr. Gerdish, I'm just curious to know, what attracted you to cardiac surgery? I like the idea of being able to definitively repair and restore things for people. The kind of profound relationship that we develop with our patients, a very individual relationship that we have, means a great deal to me and I think heart surgery really brings that home. It's a very, very unique relationship. You won't have that with anyone else. Only you and your heart surgeon will have that relationship. So Dr. Gerdish, when patients are diagnosed with severe mitral valve disorders, they often feel that a valve replacement is better than a valve repair. Can you explain the importance of mitral valve repair? Sure, and that's actually a very popular and understandable misconception because the idea that you would be taking something damaged, repairing it only, uh, versus putting in something new and uh, functional in truth, repairing the valve, better longevity of the patient, in other words, a longer lifespan, and a lower likelihood of having complications. But the vast majority of valves that leak, not stenotic, not blocked, but leaking valves, those valves, the vast majority can be repaired and they can really be restored to normal function. In fact, that procedure is so effective when done well that uh, it's generally considered to restore people to their normal life curve or life expectancy. In other words, give you back a completely normal functional valve that's made of your own tissue that allows you to go on with your life normally. So mitral valve repair uh, has become very, very important in that sense and the uh, expanded capabilities to do that that we have now I think have been a very powerful and uh, exceptionally positive thing for people with heart valve disease. So, Dr. Gerdish, can you tell us what are the benefits and expected outcomes for a mitral valve repair surgery? Sure. The, the statistical benefits that we see are that people have a quicker recovery, a lower incidence of complications, and that uh, they have better longevity, that they live longer and better with better quality because they're not exposed to the risks related to the device implantation. So Dr. Gerdish, are there any new technology developments that our community may want to know about? We continue to work with and have for over four years uh, tissue regrowth, regenerative technology. The material that we've been working with, extracellular matrix, which is actually acellular, it has no cells in it when it goes in, uh, provides a scaffold for the patient's own cells, allows them to grow their own tissue there and thereby replace uh, whichever portion we've reconstructed with, in fact, their own tissue. Our ultimate goal would be to be able to provide surgeons with a, an entire valve. An entire valve that would be biologic, fully normally performing tissue. They could replace the valve and offer the patient the same uh, improved outcomes that we have with mitral valve repair.